I chose to do a PhD, and I have to admit, quite a long time ago now, because I'm really curious about how the natural world works, particularly life, living organisms, and I thought a PhD is a wonderful opportunity just to follow my curiosity and to carry out research into something I think is interesting and hopefully might have been important, and I thought it was one of the great opportunities of my life. What I got out of doing a PhD, I think, was mainly how to do science. I learned how to do experiments, experiments I could trust, experiments that were reproducible and so actually meant something, which gave me the data that one could build ideas on as to how the real world worked. And it was really the mechanics of doing experiments that I learned well of as a PhD student. The biggest challenge for me doing my PhD was uh, not getting data, actually that was okay, not even getting reliable data, which was also okay. It was trying to fit that together into an idea, a hypothesis, that could explain something interesting. It, in, in some ways I seemed to be just sort of wandering around, perhaps a bit aimlessly, collecting observations, doing experiments, getting data, without having a true picture of how to proceed to getting a good idea. That took me a little longer to acquire, and I actually got that um, when I was working as a postdoc, and after I read a bit of philosophy, to be quite honest, philosophy of science largely to do with Karl Popper, so I recommend reading that too. I think that if you want to do a PhD, the main reason for it has to be an intense curiosity in doing what you're doing. If you think about it too much in terms of a career, am I going to get a good job, am I going to get paid more, and all those sorts of things, of course they're important, but really what should drive you is wanting to know the answer to a problem, hopefully an important problem, and that's that should be your main motivation for doing a PhD. Something you have to really think about when you're doing a PhD, it's a hint I can give you, is do take your data seriously. Quite a few times I had a preconceived idea about what result I was expecting to get, I didn't get it, and I always thought I was getting the wrong answer. If you've done the experimental uh, protocol well. If you've got certain observations, results that um, don't um, agree with your hypothesis, challenge it. Be sceptical. Think about what the data might mean, even if it's different from your own idea. So the main hint is be sceptical, be critical of what you're doing, and that way you may really find out what's happening.